What is happening guys? Huh y'all? Got our beer video today, but before we get into the beer, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you like what you see, and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, that bell for notifications of new videos. Man, let's get into it. Today, I got a collaboration beer between Hot Butcher and Goldfinger Brewing, which is why I got this gold on right here on my chest, and uh, I probably can't see it, but also gold <laughs> on my frames here. Total coincidence. But I ran with it, man. This is a 7, or wait, no, 6.1, my bad. 6.1% ABV lager, man. So you know I'm beginning to lagers more often, pilsners, things like that. So I'm glad this is here, man. I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm glad because like 90% of this channel is like stouts and IPAs, or maybe even higher, like 95%. This was canned on 12 9 20. Today is 2-1-21, so this is a fairly old lager, I mean like two months old. Uh, and the bottom here says Golden Hop. There. And I've got the uh, name here, Unhopfen. I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly, but what's new on the channel, right? Here's the can artwork here. And Goldfinger, there we go, Goldfinger, is out of Illinois as well. I've never heard of them. So, Pretty excited to try this. I know it's a collaboration beer, but excited nonetheless, man. Let's get this into a glass, see what it looks like, smells like, and tastes like. Looking forward to, oh my god, okay. Oh, okay, I thought it was gonna foam over. I opened the can and beer started coming out a little bit. It is fairly filled, man. You can kind of see that, yeah. Let's get this into a glass. Ooh. I was scared right there. I thought it was gonna just drip everywhere. Let's leave that there. So it poured with just slightly under three fingers of head, man. The head looks, I mean, it is definitely, you know, there's a lot of bubbles in there, obviously, but it looks like a more loose, I mean, loose, loosely packed sounds weird because all the bubbles are like, you know, touching each other and shit, but it's less frothy. There we go. Less frothy. Doesn't look like it's going to linger around as long as other beers may. And uh, the head, I mean, it's just nice off yellow or off white sight tint of yellow to it nothing crazy just a regular head man the beer itself however is Let me put it away from the light for a sec here i don't know putting it away from the light i'm trying to there's lighting in here everywhere it's like a orangey color man like a slight golden orange color putting it to the light it is definitely more of a golden straw color but it's yeah a little dark on the darker side it is actually like a cloudy Lager too. Yeah, putting it right here right in front of the camera. I can see that it's like a golden straw color on the camera I can see that it's like a Orangey color darker orange color That's pretty much what it looks like in, uh, in person the orange color you're seeing but it is definitely like a cloudy I want to say a hazy by cloudy Lager man Let's get the aroma Oh man, the aroma is like lemons slight herbaceous spiciness um, definitely got some like fruit elements in here I, mean, I don't even know what hops are in here um, I should have read this I guess I don't, I don't know it doesn't really say anything just oh it says dry hop lager Astra Vic Secret and Mosaic so I'm not familiar with Astra familiar with Vic Secret not I don't remember what aromas and flavors that will impart uh, but Mosaic, you already know, I love Mosaic, man. I can, I, can, I can dig that. I mean, I can see how this there's Mosaic in here. There's slight dankiness. That fruity, I guess, berry dankness is probably from Mosaic. Maybe that herbal spiciness is from Vic Secret or Astra. I'm not too familiar with Astra, man. Uh, this might be the first beer, or the first that I know of that has Astra in it. Maybe I have had, I have had other Astra beers. I just wasn't aware. Definitely zesty, man, for sure. Zesty is like not as floral as other lagers may be. Like I've had other lagers where it's like just super floral. This has more danky, fruity elements, 
and herbaceous spice to it and zestiness rather than like that floral that you get from lagers from other lagers I mean yeah it's just like I guess grapefruity orangey it's zesty that's for damn sure man let's get into the flavors cheers <coughs> excuse me Definitely has malt. It has like a like a spicy, malty grassiness to it. The malt definitely tastes different than any other malt I've ever had in a lager. I think. Not sure if that's like a combination of all the hops, but being dry hopped with a hop, I feel like that just makes it smell better. I don't think it does anything for a flavor. But then I. I'm not home brewer, I'm not brewer at all, I don't know, I just, for some reason I feel like, I, I feel like I've read that somewhere, but this is definitely a different flavor of hop, or malts uh, that I don't think I've tasted before, it's like a spicier, herbaceous, earthy spice, it's weird. Not bad however, it's definitely different, but not bad, zestiness. And I'm getting grapefruit, like grapefruit bitterness, grapefruit pithiness. A little bit of that sweetness is coming through, like a fruity, slight, I'm gonna say like berry-like sweetness. Not a whole lot, just just a little bit of sweetness there, man. And a little bit of floriness too, just a tad of floriness. But I would say the zestiness is definitely coming through strong with this one. And the malts is pretty much what is interesting to me or the most interesting thing to me just because I haven't had a lager that tastes like this before yeah a hoppy lager that's what I'm sure man up front tons of hops tons of zestiness fades out into this nicer berry sweetness slight flowery floral grapefruit pithiness and like it's just it's a different beer like all the combinations of flavors I'm getting there's a lot going on in this beer man and it all really works well together honestly it's a super easy drinking beer water consistency just what you expect out of a lager and just everything in here is just like it works really well together up front you're like holy shit this tastes different or at least for me it tastes different you know can't really put your finger on you like there's this weird earthy spiciness zestiness and like it's just it's different but everything works really nicely dude yeah i'm gonna say overall kobe please stop dog's going wild because my right, is home um overall very very uh Good lager, man. I'm glad. I'm glad to be drinking this. And shout out to Hot Butcher for sending this my way. It's, uh, I'm gonna say, a good first experience of Goldfinger, man. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure which portion of the collab they had in this, but uh, it's a good lager, dude. I, I would drink this over and over and over again, especially on like a warm, nice summer day, which we don't currently have. Anyways, man, this is Hot Butcher and Goldfinger's collab called Unf Hopfen. A 6.1% ABV lager, dry hopped with Kobe Stop, Astra, Mosaic, and Vic Secret. If you guys like the video, thumbs up, comments, questions, leave them below. And as always, dream dreams and believe all things are possible. Thank you for watching. Cheers.